Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In episode 15, I've set up a lot of lines over here in the north, connecting Boise, Abilene, Escondido, New Haven, Concord, all of these towns with the rest of the world. And it is working, because these towns are growing like crazy. This town started out at 263, and has exploded. Look at that. This is in 2022. In 2024, the town gained 130 occupants, 130 residents. So there is a lot of demand. And that also puts a lot more pressure on my current lines. So I will need to do something about this. For example, the counterclockwise tram is going to need an extra vehicle. Uh, let's see, I was using the... Yep, yeah, the Urbos 3. That is the New Haven tram counterclockwise. How about the other one? That one seems fine. And over here, people are waiting, well, for even numbers. Over here in the airport, pretty even as well. Okay, where do you want to go? New Haven Escondido. I'm going to need at least two more hovercraft there. New Haven Escondido. Next. New Haven to Concord. Concord is all the way over there. Um, is there another hovercraft coming in from Concord, potentially? No, it's at Concord. And Concord also has a lot of demand. All right, two more hovercraft for that line. New Haven, Concord. What's next? What do we have waiting here? New Haven to Boise. There is a hovercraft coming in, but that's going to Abilene. Let's add one more. So that's New Haven, Boise. What do we have here? 30 people waiting to go to Abilene and 35 waiting to go to Escondido. One more to Escondido. Speaking of Boise itself, there's not that many people waiting on these buses. So why are you in here? What sort of scenic route is that? <laughs> what was that? Sometimes the game has such weird pathfinding that I have no idea what it's trying to do. Alright, it looks like the tram on the counterclockwise line. So that's the one that is uh, going towards the shipping here. Could use another one. If I'm not mistaken, I just have the small units roving around here. Yep, the Skoda 10Ts. Replace that with the Urbus. And this one, same. Manage vehicle, replace Urbus 3. That should at least alleviate some of the need. Because these things can transport 43. Alright, how's Escondido itself doing? Ooh. Not too bad, or not too well. There's a lot of demand for that boss line. And it's not surprising, because the town doubled in population. Near enough. And I think I only have, what, two buses? One bus! Yeah, no surprise. Uh, this is... Ab no, this is not Abilene, this is Escondido. That one. Alright, how are we doing over here? Stamford. 114 people waiting to go to Escondido? Oh my. I'm going to need a bigger ship. Or more of them. Uh, Escondido Stamford. Concord. 62 people waiting for that tram. It's not surprising because I'm still using the older one. That's the Urbos. That's that one replaced. And now this one replaced with another Urbos. There's so many people on this stop that the station is getting overloaded. Even if I just use one of these, I will not be able to fit in all of the passengers. So I think it's only fair that I add another one. And that is S... No, that's not Escondido. That's Concord counterclockwise, was it? Yeah. And the other one seems fine. Alright, how about New Haven itself? Because this might be a pretty popular destination really soon. 48 people waiting to go on the counterclockwise tram. That's that one. That's more than I can fit. I'll take another. 
New Haven, counterclockwise. Ship 11's doing pretty bad. Replace. People waiting here. 24, 23, 26. Yeah, that's alright. This is not too bad. This I can live with. Why are you waiting? I thought you guys all had your own terminal. These might be on the same line. Yeah, they're both going to Boise. I think this one just came out of the dock. So they still have to space themselves out on this line first. That's probably what's happening. Alright, the air uh, airfield. 61 waiting to go to St. Paul. This one's going to New York City. This line's already making quite a decent amount of money. But, again, this is problematic. Station's getting overloaded. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of people waiting here. This thing can only hold 22, though. Manage vehicle, duplicate. The other one, same deal. But I might even go with three of them. Duplicate. And duplicate another. How is the traffic in St. Paul itself? Whoa, there's 83 people waiting there. <laughs> We're mass producing aircraft in this hangar. <laughs> Okay. That should alleviate some of the pressure on this airport, but it's still pretty bad. New York City to St. Paul is also pretty bad. Okay. Um, speaking of pretty bad, I might need an extra terminal. If there's room. I'll take a passenger terminal here. Terminals, I want you on terminal two. That should alleviate some of the pressure, because they're now no longer sharing one platform, they have two platforms. Still, they are not happy. Not in the slightest. Now, there are a lot of flights landing on this airport. I got the flights coming in from New Haven, I got them coming in from St. Paul, and I also have them coming in from New York City which is the tools airline. So this one too is making use of that runway. So far it doesn't seem to be a problem, but I might need to think about upgrading this in the near future. St. Paul's emission is good. This is good. I still want to ship more food to them and pre preferably more machines. Uh, but we seem to have a bit of a bottleneck going on here with the planks. There's 178 planks waiting there. Right. Manage line. Nope, sorry, manage vehicles. This one. Replace. Because I did get a new cargo vehicle that might hold more, like that one. This holds 38. Replace all of that, and I'll add two more. Hopefully that's going to speed up production of the planks a bit more. And with that, supply more over here so I can build more machines. Because steel is definitely not the problem. I have 950 units of steel. And it is simply not consuming enough. New Haven, St. Paul. Please tell me you're one of those. No, you're the tools airline. Oh shit, this is going to St. Paul. And there's still 96 people waiting? Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. Yeah. Manage vehicles. Replace. This was a bit optimistic, thinking I have to transport all of these people just with a Q400. Seeing how many there are, I'm going to need something that has at least 30 seats and is faster, like a 737-700. Maybe even upgrade it to a Tupolev 204 for 55 seats. Yeah, this is the fastest plane I can get, the 737-700. Go. That's going to cost me 33 million, but I have 184. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And here too, they are getting overcrowded. Alright, let's upgrade that. Uh, set up another passenger terminal right here. And tell one of those aircraft to start using the other terminal. I want you on terminal 2. So that's New Haven, New York City, starts here. 
And the other one starts here. That's the one the same pole. 33 seats. I'm still nowhere near enough. I might need to add one more aircraft there. But the more aircraft I add, the more pressure I put on this airfield. And the more pressure I put on the airfield, the more likely they're going to need an extra runway. 102. Yeah, that's not going to fit. Not at all. Four passenger aircraft on the New Haven to St. Paul line. Which currently is making about 2 million. And that's with buying new aircraft. So there are still some airplanes that are yet to be uh, transporting passengers. Yeah, and here we go. They're waiting for the takeoff clearance from the runway. Okay, let's see if I can add a runway without crashing the game. That'd be nice. Runway. Nope, probably because it's on the beach. Okay, time for the terraforming. Uh, flatten that. We are going to need quite a bit of room for that extra runway. Does it fit now? Misc, runway. Yep, there we are. Um, how much can I improve this? Can I set up another taxiway? You could set that up over there, but again, there's no room, apparently. Bring out the bulldozers. There's going to be nothing left of this bay soon. <laughs> no, I want it flat. I don't want these dents in the terrain. There's aircraft flying over here. Now, all these aircrafts are nice, but they're putting a lot more pressure on the air on the lines that are taking passengers from here to St. Paul. Or at least I imagine that they do. Uh, no, actually, it's not that bad. It is not that bad. Okay, can I now add another taxiway? Nope. Why not? The game still gives me what seems to be like a red dot, so I cannot do it over there. That's weird. Yeah, that's perfect. What I wanted to do, really, was put a terminal over here. And then relocate that bus stop to here to make the distance between New York, sorry, to, between St. Paul and its airfield a little shorter. But I'm not sure if I can fit that in, not without an additional taxiway. Now, New Haven to St. Paul seems to be under control. 2 million, 113 passengers out of a potential 132. Good. That is well under control. How about here? 28, 32, 34, 35. There's a lot of people to go to that airport. This thing can transfer 26. How many vehicles do I have? Five. Currently using 74 out of 130 seats, so that's fine. I don't really need to boost that anymore. That seems to be working all right. Back to the north. Let's see how the hovercraft are doing. 2432. Are you going to Escondido? Nope. Neither of you. Are you going to Escondido? Nope. Yeah, this one is. But there are more passengers waiting here than can possibly go to Escondido on one hovercraft. Let's add another one. New Haven, Escondido. Off you go. Passengers over here are stacking up as well. Is the clockwise tram? Where is that thing, by the way? I 
I think that might be it. No, that's the counterclockwise. But I only have one vehicle on the clockwise line. Still, there's only 15 out of 30... F sorry, 43 people in that tram, so I don't need to upgrade that much. 36, we didn't go to Escondido. Yep, it's getting a little busy here. Now, there was one town that felt a little isolated. Fargo. So it's time to hook Fargo up into the rest of the connections. And that is everything connected. Fargo is a bit of a weird build, though. It's very long. Whereas the population is really not that big. It's just 193. A uh, couple of ways I can go about this. I can go with a hovercraft, which I think is the more desirable option, because the alternative would be to build a bridge. Build a bridge from New York City to Fargo. And why I don't want to build a bridge? Well, it has to do with more road traffic. And fair enough, the uh, East Citero have almost no emissions. But they might get stuck in New York, to some extent. If I drop them off over here in Highland Street... Highland Street is defunct, by the way. So I would need to drop them off at a different passenger stop, where, for example, the tram can pick them up and take them further. But New York is not exactly covered properly anymore, since this town has been growing a lot. Um, set up another stop over there. Manage line. After stop four, I want you to go here. Yep, could not connect all the stations. In progress. Wait one. That should fix it. After... Oh. And here. After... There. After four, I want you to go to five. Uh, I'm going to cut out number six. And then they seem to be going back to one. You know what? I am going to go for a bridge. Why not? I can do it. I might as well. I have the cash. I haven't been building that many bridges yet. I want to see if I can get an achievement for that. I'm sorry this stop is no longer in use. Now we probably have a metro that doesn't quite know what to do. Uh, after stop 3, I want you to go here. To 14th Street. And then I'm going to set up a joint bus slash tram station over here. Like that. With another exit out the other way. And connect that up. Uh, yes, I will need to have these things connected. And that. Build roads. Just a medium street. Yes, with electric. Because I want the trams to start using that one. So after 14th Street comes uh, New York City sightings. And they're not quite taking the route that I would hope they would. That's better. Part of it wasn't electrified yet. Now don't let that other yellow line confuse you. Because that's a completely different line. See, this is the one that I'm taking. And then there's another one that's using... I don't know. I think it's this one. Dropping off stuff over here. What is that? That is the New York City tram. What are they doing? Alright, they fixed it. Never mind. Okay then, here we go again. For some reason, if you spin around the camera while that bug occurs, you can fix it. And the game stops spinning. Okay, Fargo, here we go. We're gonna start all the way at the edge of town. A double one there, a double one here, and a double one over there. And now we're gonna go for the long trek. 
I want a uh, medium country road. Let's see, these things can do 100. What can highways do? 100. What does that look like? Nah. Not really something I'm interested in. Extra large country road. Uh, yes, I want a bus lane. No, I don't need a tram track. Condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. That's unfortunate. I'm colliding with something. What am I colliding with? Ah, I'm not going up fast enough. That's the problem. I should already be building upwards. Whoa! <laughs> Not to the moon. Condition of multiple vehicles are very poor. Yes, I will look into that in a minute. I need to hook that up to about here. If at all possible. Yep. Check. Done. All right. Starting over here in New York City. We're gonna start at sidings. Go there, there, and there, and back again. That's it. NYC to Fargo. So believe it or not, but finally, in the year 2029, we're going to be seeing the first buses going to Fargo. Uh, and I'll take a couple e Citros. They might not be as fast, but they don't cause as many emi Actually, yeah, no, they could be causing emissions in Fargo. NYC to Fargo. Now, about those vehicles which are in poor condition, what are we talking about? How bad? Very bad. Ship 16. The one that's ferrying fuel. Alright, we're going to replace that uh, with the same type. Next. Tempa construction. Something that doesn't cause too many emissions, preferably. The urban e-truck, for example. We're going full green on these guys. Nashville stone. I am noticing that these are definitely not as fast. These things can do 100, I think. Yeah. And those E units can only do 70. Hmm. Where's this line operating? It's going into Tempe. So it could be providing a bit of emissions. All right, urban e-truck. What other vehicles are problematic? Very bad. New York City. My ships. Oh, okay. Uh, that's these four. Ching. Next up. All of these things are going bad. The New York, uh, sorry, the St. Paul grain line. Where are you operating? You're not going into New York, right? You're just going back and forth here. Because then I don't need to waste uh, speed on emissions over here. Manage vehicles. Oh, there's only one? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that one. Dump truck. Using a dump truck to transport grain feels a little weird. But I guess it's possible. What do we have here? A very old tram in New York City. It's in the depot? You're not even in use? Okay. Goodbye. What else? Uh, we got quite a few units in bad condition on the St. Paul grain line. Use the dump truck. Next. Nashville stone. Only one truck. That's operating on this very, very short lope, short, uh, short loop, short lap, short 
distance. I think a dump truck should do because I'm just transporting stone. Next. Stamford construction. Uh, yeah, I cancelled the aircraft, but I never cancelled the truck. So Stamford is still looking for materials. And this truck has been running empty for... At least 20 years. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, hold up. I was originally flying in construction materials from New York City to Stamford. And I stopped. Because I thought that they were flying over New York City and causing emissions. Turns out that that's not actually the case. So I can once again restore this line. So this is Stamford Construction uh, Airline. And start it up over here. So that the truck at least has some time to transport some of the cargo. How much do they need? 174. Okay, that's quite a lot. Uh, in that case, I will take a big plane. Cargo only. 54. 51. I think 54 is the biggest plane that I have. Yeah, tuple F204. That is that one. Stanford Construction. I still need to replace the vehicle. This one is going actually into town, so that emission is important. Uh, this one has only 66, and this one has only 62. Replace that. More vehicles. Lots of these things are in bad or mediocre condition. Look at all that. That's not great. That's the New York trams. Really? The New York trams are not even that profitable. 127,000 a year. Considering that these things are pretty expensive. And they need to be replaced, what, every every 40 years, give or take? Hmm. And set the maintenance to high and hoping that they still make some money while doing that. Also, what's their emission rate? Uh, 65. Yeah, that's about as low as I can get it on a tram. Ah, here come the planks. More lines. Still a couple of vehicles in bad condition. That's the Concord Logs. Whoa. 2.6. Good stuff. Replace all of them. A few more, and then I'm done. Uh, St. Paul to Carrollton. A couple of hovercraft. Two of them are really old, and the other ones... Not that bad yet, but I'll replace all of them. So that I can do another upgrade cycle in the future as well. And then... Uh, New York City Tool Supply. These might be causing New York quite a bit of grief. 74 emissions. Yeah, that's not good. Replace the Urban E-Truck. 62 emission. These things have even less emission than a tram. That's pretty impressive. All right, New York construction to the plane. Uh, yes, that's the line that starts. Oh, hold up. You are supposed to also go here. What route are you taking? So I think they cannot take any route. Because it's not tied in. Maybe I can dig this tunnel here and yeah, add it in. There, now we're also transporting the construction materials to the actual plane. Because I just bought a plane, but I didn't check to see if that road connection is still established. Alright, the other three. Two on the Nashville Tools line. That's that one. And we're not transporting anything. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to have to look into that next episode. New your Hold up. Wrong display. This one. Replace. Urban E-Truck. 
And then the last one, New York Construction, that's also going right into town, Urban E-Truck. All right, so I suppose we could call this episode Going Green, because I've been replacing a lot. Last thing I want to do, add one, well, at least one more airplane to New Haven to New York City, because these are still using those old uh, Q400s, which already turned out not to be big enough. Replace both of these with, what was I using? The 737-700, I think. Go. And what is the other line doing? 5.9 million. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm losing 8 million on that. Well, I got my work cut out for me next episode. For now, hope you're enjoying the game. Um, these two episodes, 15 and 16, I haven't had any crashes. Might have been because I have nothing else running on my computer, aside from Transport Fever and uh, the recording software that I'm using, Bandicam. But aside from that, nothing. So maybe that's it. Maybe that fixed it. I hope. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you soon for the next episode.